when you install Synology Photos onto your NAS, it will by default store all photos and videos in an individual's user home folder. While this behavior is by design, it is a problem if you want certain family memories to be accessible to all users of your NAS. So to get around this problem, we can have Synology Photos create something called a shared space. A shared space is a centralized location on our NAS that all instances of Synology Photos can see either from the Synology Photos web portal or the Synology Photos app. However, as this network share has to be created through the Synology Photos web portal, we're going to show you the settings that you need to enable in order to make shared space work. In order to create a shared space, we first need to sign into Distation Manager using our administrator's credentials. Now from the desktop of the DSM, if we now select Main Menu, then locate and click on Synology Photos. Synology Photos will open in our administrator's account, which have universal settings that can be enabled for all users. If we select the profile icon, and from the drop-down menu choose Settings, when the settings panel opens, we need to click on the Shared Space tab and enable Shared Space. You will notice that Synology Photos will automatically create a shared folder called Photo, which happens to be a legacy folder used by previous photo apps created by Synology. So unfortunately, this means that you can't choose your own Shared Space folder or use multiple folders. Let's enable Shared Space. While we will need to set permissions to our shared space folder, we found that it's best to close out of Synology Photos and reopen the app first. Let's save our settings and close Photos. If we return to Synology Photos, and once again open Settings, then choose Shared Space, we now need to set access permissions to our shared space folder. While we could assign access permissions on an individual basis, for speed and convenience, we're simply going to use our users group so that all users receive the same access rights. Then for access rights, we're going to choose full access. Finally, if we click on add, our users group is added to the users list. Let's save our settings and take a look at the shared folder that has been created. Returning to the Station Manager, if we open Control Panel and choose Shared Folder, we will see a new folder called Photo. While this folder is accessible from within Synology Photos, currently it's not easy to add or remove photos and videos from outside of the app, so we need to set user permissions on this folder. Let's click on Edit and choose Permissions. Now if we select Local Groups from the drop-down menu, we're going to give the Users Group read-write access. After choosing Save, we can sign out of Distation Manager. We now need to open the Photo Network Share on our NAS. As a test, we're going to add an image file. However, if you have photos and videos stored in other locations on your NAS, now would be a good time to move them into your photo folder. If we return to the Station Manager, but this time, sign in as a standard user. Once again, if we open Synology Photos, we're presented with the photos and videos that we've saved to our personal space. However, if we click on the drop-down menu under the Synology Photos heading, we now have a shared space option that when we click it, displays the contents of the photo folder on our NAS. You should now find that this option is now present in both the web app and the Synology Photos app for Android and iOS.